What's going on guys? So today I'm going to be talking to you about why cameras uh, and what camera you shoot on uh, doesn't really matter that much. For the past couple years uh, I've been like taking photos and making videos and continuously trying to figure out how to get better. Uh, and when you go on YouTube a lot of the content uh, centers around gear so like it leaves you wondering what should I buy to make my videos better, right? Uh, what gimbal should I get or what uh, camera do I need? And look, I'm not going to say that those things don't matter. Like if you want a 4K 120, you have to buy a camera that will shoot 4K 120. I'm shooting on a camera now that costs $2,000. So, uh, and I spent that much money for a reason. However, that, camera body isn't really what's making my video good or bad. It's really just capturing footage. Yeah, I'm shooting on a pretty nice camera, right? Uh, so let's see uh, what the image is like, you know, from this camera. I'm just gonna reset everything that's going on with the rest of this video and we'll just see what this camera looks like. Okay, so right now I'm just flooding my sensor with light. I'm gonna put the lens on because without a lens on the front of my camera, all I'm really doing is damaging the sensor and I'm not actually capturing anything. Uh, you see, uh, with <laughs> without a lens in front of the camera, the camera doesn't really do much. The camera can only capture what's coming out of the back of the lens. So if you're going to decide what to spend your money on, right, um, it might be smarter to actually invest in the glass. Now, this is something that photographers know about and that people always say, like you invest into your glass and not the camera body. Because again, the camera body can only capture what's coming out of the end of the lens okay so lenses make a bigger difference to your overall image than the camera body it's just i think i think we've got that proven right but as you can see this doesn't look as nice as it did at the start of the video because i'm just using the regular lights in my room yeah just my regular room lighting that i would use if i was just working or something um and uh, it looks not the worst. I have pretty even lighting in here. I keep it like that because I it feels nice and it's relatively bright, but it doesn't really look all that interesting or like cinematic or like professional or like anything. It just looks like light, right? So even more important than the lens, is the lighting because all lenses do is capture light bend it in some way and throw it onto the sensor so everything that's in front of the lens kind of matters more than what lens you use this is why uh there are hollywood well not really hollywood but award-winning uh films that were shot on cell phones because if the stuff in front of the lens is good then it doesn't even matter how good the lens is as much or the camera body um but let me uh change my lighting and fix it back because i don't want to make you guys watch uh that for the rest of the video. So actually let's go through like how this is actually lit. So I'm gonna turn on my um, key light. Room lights are off. It's my main light. It's just like a LED panel. Uh, and then I have a big like one of those five in one diffusers um just with a clamp hooked up to make it bigger and softer and it looks nice now like my face it looks a lot nicer than with the room lights and yeah it looks good but uh my background's a little bit like bland i look good but my background looks not so good so i'm gonna turn on my background lights i got some uh blue lights in my room uh I don't know if I turn this a little bit, you could, oh, there they go, yeah. <laughs> it's 
So yeah, I got some blue lights in my room. Uh, I also have a blue light that I'm actually shining from a stand over here onto the wall. And that like makes the whole thing a little bit bluer and like pops. And then uh, to kind of counteract all this blueness coming from here, I have this, um, uh, yeah, just another orange light that's uh, over there just on the, on the desk. Um, but it's kind of unmotivated. So if I turn on this light here on the desk, it kind of will fool your brain into thinking like, whoa, all this light is coming from this moon thing on the desk, but it's not. All that does is, I mean, it does do a little bit, like it helps to brighten up like the lower part of my body because that light only lights up my face mostly. So it does something. Uh, other than being good looking in the background, it's practical. But this, this looks much better uh, than how it did at the start. That's the point. And all of that was light. Wasn't the lens, wasn't the camera body, it's lighting. And I think you could follow this uh, like train of logic even further, of course, right? I mean, it matters what you're lighting. Is your set interesting? Do you have good models or actors or actresses or if they even still use that word? Um, and do you have a good story? Do you have a good concept? Do you have a good script? Like, do you have some good idea that you're actually working around or is it just nonsense? I mean, sometimes it's good to just do little exercises just to practice like doing micro films or different like practice photo shoots to practice different lighting. But if you're like trying to really put some work out there, you want to try and have an idea or a feeling, some kind of base behind it to start off with. And that's actually the most important thing. From there, all of the things kind of like diminish in importance. It's like the idea uh, and then like the setup and then the lighting and the sound and then the like lenses and then the camera. Like the camera is actually pretty low on the totem pole, even though everyone talks about it on YouTube because it gets you higher CPMs because cameras are expensive. Uh, it's actually not that big of a factor. I mean, it matters. I'm not going to sit here and say it doesn't matter at all, but it's actually not that big of a factor. So what you should be focusing on if you want to make your videos look better is probably lighting if you and you know if you just want better videos try and focus on sound i haven't focused on sound enough yet but i try i'm trying <laughs> and you want to focus on stories and ideas if you're shoot doing photography you want to focus on like concepts for your shoots there's so many different things uh that you could do uh and if you're just worried about like gear and just looking at gear you're not shooting like just try and make your ideas have good ideas and try and make your ideas and execute on those ideas over and over again until you get really good at making your ideas uh, and reality perfectly match up that's what's gonna make your videos better that's what's gonna make your photos better not anything that you could buy. But, but, okay, all that being said, if you do want to buy something, uh, you know, if you want to invest in something to make your stuff better, invest in my Lightroom presets <laughs> and uh, my LUTs. At some point, they'll be out. Um, it, with those, like, yeah, I know, I know, I know. Those are one of the last things that you need to worry about. Those things are like finishing touches but if you want to perfect your finishing touches, education is important. My presets come with tutorials explaining how and why I did stuff. 
Um, and I'll be also talking about like color grading a little bit in the future once I feel like confident that I know what I'm doing enough to tell you guys what to do uh, and then share some of my LUTs. I do have a bunch of LUTs that I use personally, but well, I'll talk about that in another video. We'll talk about LUTs in another video. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. Uh, if you have any comments, questions, anything, leave them in the comments. Um, you know, hit me up, feel free to reach out to me anywhere. Uh, a lot of you guys hit me on the contact page of my website. I appreciate that, but I usually try and keep that for inquiries only. Like I've got like a lot of people hitting me up with like YouTube videos, you know, hit me on Instagram in the DMs, hit me up on Twitter, uh, email me. Uh, if you really need to, I guess you can use the contact form on my site, but there are other ways to reach me. I'm Jamal Mortimer everywhere. You can just Google me, actually. Not to, like, stunt, but, like, I... Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped. Subscribe, uh, follow on Instagram, wherever you're watching this video. Um, let me get out of here, because I clearly have run out of useful things to say at this point. <laughs>